Well, good morning all. It is Saturday morning and I am, oh, Saturday afternoon, it's 1.30. Uh, my in-laws came into town last night. It was a long, drawn out process. They got lost on their way here. The navigation wasn't working right, things like that. So anyway, um, a half mile. we went, we sorry, my navigation's on because I'm trying to go somewhere. Uh, we went this morning and just hung out at the house. Oh, and then we got the boys' haircut, um, Marty and MJ's meeting when I say the boys. And uh, after that, we went home and we went to lunch at this place called McGurk's, uh, which is a local little like pub restaurant style place. There's one downtown in the city as well. Um, and we got like soups and salads and nachos and stuff like that and just had a little lunch because uh, we're going to an early dinner tonight at a place called Libertores, which is another local place that uh, is, uh, um, Italian. So anyway, I'm on my way over to see my niece's gymnastics competition, which is only about mm, six miles from my house. And they live an hour and a half from me. So I'm going to go visit my nieces and my mom's there and my sister-in-law's there. My brother, I think is traveling for work. Not sure. But, um, so I am going to go visit with them. Uh, Marty went to Costco with his dad since his dad's truck was here, uh, to go, pick up the TV that he wanted. I have no idea which one he's gonna end up with. God only knows what he'll end up with when he comes back home. Um, so his dad and mom drove here to bring us a snowblower. I don't know if I told you guys that. Um, that's what they were coming to town for was they brought us a snowblower that his dad had. So anyway, um, that's what they came for and since his truck's here, it works out great to go get uh, the TV because it's way easier than trying to fit it in one of our cars. Um, works out that way so that's what we're doing uh, later on tonight we will I'll try and tape some of the gymnastics maybe maybe not actually no I'm not because that's kids that are not mine and no I'm not gonna tape that so anyway going to a gymnast gymnastics competition and then later on today we will be going to dinner around five o'clock with MJ and everybody um, I don't tend to tape with my in-laws here my father-in-law wants nothing to do with anything online um, not a fan of online stuff he doesn't really like any of it so anyway um, he doesn't like people knowing what he's doing and where he is and stuff like that so I don't tape things with him around um, but I tried to show you like where we were going and stuff so I'll post the links for both of those places below and uh, that's pretty much it tomorrow they're gonna leave fairly early in the morning uh, we may or may not to go to brunch ahead of time depending on what time my father-in-law wants to get on the road so uh, that's pretty much it it's uh just you know keeping up doing some stuff this weekend but nothing crazy and also nothing really that I can take the camera along very much to so that's it I am heading out for the day and catch y'all later cheese oh, MJ just got his hair cut again say haircut <laughs> and you got a pop what color is your pop good job yay we're at the hairdressers and he just got done with his hair getting cut huh Looks good. Yeah. I am running out to the grocery store. It is a freezing cold day here. Not freezing cold. It's 43 degrees, which is freezing cold for us here for right now. Um, heading out to the grocery store to pick up just what I need for the week. Um, you guys had asked me kind of do how to do like a meal planning and things like that or what I do for meal planning pretty much on Sundays. Marty and I usually, not today because his parents were in town, we usually go to the gym Sunday mornings and then we go to breakfast and at breakfast we go how many days are, I say how many nights are you home for dinner this week and then we go okay what are some ideas and like while we're at breakfast we'll look at some ideas on Pinterest or just if there's a favorite that we always want and always once a week we usually have a chicken breast and a vegetable or something like that um, so that's pretty much it and then Sunday afternoon usually at some point I go to the grocery store and he watches MJ um, and it's 1130 right now but his parents are in town and actually they just left so we just kind of sat around this morning and talked about it because they went um, to grab coffee and donuts at this little place called Paradise Donuts by us which um, everybody around here was talking about when it opened up right around the beginning of school year and 
it was okay. Like their apple fritter was really good, but the rest of the donuts were basically just a really basic donut with crazy toppings on it. Like they dipped it in like icing or whatever it is, that, like either a white one or a chocolate one, and they put things on top. Like there was a fruity pebble one and there was a s'mores one which just had marshmallows and like um, graham cracker crumbles. Like it's it wasn't anything crazy. Like it was fine, it was good, but I wouldn't go out of my way for it. The apple fritter was very good though. Um, and MJ liked going there, so that was good. But um, that was pretty much it. Um, but yeah, so grocery shopping uh, is pretty, I have a list, I have an app on my phone called Shopper, I think it's called. I'll put a link below if I can find it, um, that I use, that I have a running list of anything I think while we're out or anything while we're doing things. And then I'm like, oh, I need to pick this up. Or if I run out of something and I'm like, oh, I need more tissues was a good one earlier today. Um, so that's kind of how I get my list together. And then Sunday while we're at breakfast, we decide what we're gonna have for the week. And then I just add it all to my list then. Um, on my face, Estee Lauder Perfectionist. Let me think of the different things. Uh, Glow Minerals, bronzer, blush is MAC Dainty. On my eyes is the Lorac Pro Palette and then just gel liner, the mascara. Um, the mascara is a combination of two. It was this faux lashes, like one of those fiber ones, but had black fibers instead of white ones. And the La Mercier faux lash one, um, a combination of that, and it worked pretty good. Um, usually those fiber ones are a mess for me and kind of like end up in my eyes and bother my eyes, and this one didn't, so I was pretty impressed with that. Um, lips, right? I started out with the Too Faced liner forget the name of it and the Too Faced Nude Beach Lipstick uh, and right now I just put on some Glamour Era I think it's called or yeah Glamour Era I think uh, MAC Mineralize that I keep in the car and I throw it on it feels like a chapstick it's really like soft and smooth um, and feels good so yep so heading into the grocery store to pick up some stuff um, I use that little scanner thing at the grocery store where you scan your groceries as you go and like it takes two seconds to check out and you bring your own bags and I really like that that's a quick and easy thing that I do so uh, Marty is away Monday and Tuesday and home Wednesday Thursday usually Friday and Saturday we either go somewhere or pick something up um, so that's kind of where we're at for today and boy, the grocery store is busy uh, I'm gonna head in now well, yet another rainy day here in Maryland. Um, today we went to the gym and I worked out with my trainer and then we came home for a little bit and went back for swim school. Now we're home, uh, MJ ate lunch and now he's napping and I'm getting ready to eat lunch and I'm watching uh, the first season of American Horror Story. I've already seen Coven, which is the second one and I'm currently watching the third one, which is freak show but I went back and watched the first one because I had never seen that one so I am watching that on Netflix and I have some chicken left over watching that on Netflix and I have some chicken left over from last night uh, we had gone to Mission Barbecue and yes it's supposed to be pink on the inside because it's smoked so I am watching keeping up with this on uh, Netflix right now getting ready to watch this and just relax for a little bit while he naps it's uh 120 and uh he'll be up around 3 30 4 o'clock and we're just honestly staying in the house and relaxing today and marty's traveling so we're just hanging out here on a crappy rainy day so i had two other things that i ordered from sephora or two sets of things very small orders um, that i ordered from sephora before the vib sale ended and one of the orders came in today i don't know why both of them they both shipped at the same time but maybe it'll show up later today i will show you when it does but here's what we have Sorry, turn on the light. <clears throat> I picked up a blush. I already opened this up uh, from Kat Von D in the color Bellissima. Let me open it for you. I own a whoa, okay. I own a sample of this, and I really, really liked it. It's actually much. It's like a peachy pink. It's like Nars Orgasm, but a little bit more peachy colored. Um, not much. That's looking much more peachy. I picked up a lash sash that I have for someone as a gift, and then another one of the NARS lipstick. It finally came in stock in the color Barbara, which I have not even opened or swatched, but it looks very pretty. Let's see under here. Still looks a little bit, let me see here. Swatch it, ooh, it's very pretty. Very pretty color. 
So uh, that just came in and uh, I think that is everything for now. I'm going to make another pumpkin bread today. I don't have to show you guys that because I've already done it before. Um, and ooh, I'm gonna make some chicken salad. I take a um, one of those roasted chickens from the supermarket and pull it apart and then I make chicken salad with that sometimes. It depends on what I'm in the mood for. So I'm gonna do that today. So I'll show you a little bit of that. It's really actually easy. It's just the chicken with some mayonnaise and salt and pepper, honestly. Um, so pretty easy, but I like to have that in the fridge as a quick something to eat. And uh, I think that's it. Um, gonna do those two things today and that's pretty much it for today. These lipsticks feel amazing. I just put some on my lips there, lips, bleh, lips there, and I uh, wiped it off my hand, but they just feel so good on your lips. It's not a crazy color, it's just a pretty good neutral, like your lips, but a little bit better type of color. Um, and it's called Barbara, the NARS Audacious. So for the chicken salad, oh, my lighting is so bad under here at nighttime. We're on a dismal day. I just took the chicken, pulled it all apart. As you can see, this is all the skin and fat stuff, and then this is the bone. And then I put some chicken in here all chopped up, used a little bit of Hellman's Light Mayo and Jane's crazy mixed up salt this stuff is awesome to give you salt and pepper flavor but a little bit extra kick to it too it has like garlic and other things it's really awesome uh, and i just mix it up then let it sit overnight and uh it's a good chicken salad morning it is tuesday morning and it is freezing it when i woke up and looked at the temperature it said it was 21 degrees outside and today is only supposed to be like a high of 32 here which is insane uh it's just crazy we go from one extreme to the other last week or yeah last week we had some days in the 60s that's crazy um so mj and i are on our way to the gym and to tabata class uh, my mom is coming over today to play with MJ and hang out with him and I have to give her some china and silver and chairs and things for Thanksgiving to get to my aunt and then tonight I have a mom's group meeting of the steering committee so basically the people that I'm on the group that like plans the meetings and I tried to stabilize this camera you guys let me know if it's a little bit better I feel like it's still bouncing on around I don't know do you guys know a good stable like camera holder this is driving me crazy I'm on my second one and it's still like I feel like it's really kind of bouncy I mean I know that one was bad I know Maryland roads are bad but it feels really 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 unstable lately so <clears throat> my mom's gonna stay and hang out with MJ and put him to bed and all that stuff while I'm whoa dude crazy people cutting out um, while I am at my mom's meeting tonight and we're just meeting at the place where we have the meetings and uh, because there's a big group of people we have a breakfast with Santa coming up uh, December 6th so we're getting ready for that so that's kind of the planning meeting here's the thing I'm trying to avoid bumps here guys sorry now to run a few errands it is crazy windy out I just noticed one of my neighbor's trash cans is out on the street um, it is crazy 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 windy out here and really really cold um, so I am heading out to Toys R Us to look for a um, like booster seat type of thing and a little step stool and to Target to look for some lamps and oh and to Michael's or the party store to find um, some of those those little kits if you've ever seen them they're like coloring books and stickers and crayons all together in one little thing with one topic um, so I'm gonna run out and see what there is this hat I don't know who makes it my jacket I think is it's either Banana Republic or White House Black Market. I forget which one, but it was from a couple of years ago. Um, and I really like it. I have on a flannel shirt from Target, some Hudson jeans, and my fry boots, the, uh, the more like distressed kind of suede looking ones than the caramel ones. Uh, on my lips is that uh, NARS Audacious and Barbara. I'm loving that color. The rest of my face I have on, oh, uh, Guerlain Terracotta July Tint or whatever that's called um, and some other things um, eyes is steel in the light palette things like that um, so heading over there oh, oh sunglasses are Tom Ford gosh I forget the name on this one again 
Brooke always helps me here. Darn it, what is it? I forget. Anyway, I'll try and post it below. Um, I always forget. The other ones I think are Whitney and this one's something else. I forget. Uh, but they're the metal bronze frames. So I stopped at Target, picked up a couple of things. Um, first thing, I've been looking for some small lamps for our living room. Um, so I picked up two of just the clear ball ones, uh, two of those and two lamp shades. Um, I didn't want a white lampshade with them. I want it, this is kind of like a light gray, like uh, type one, which I liked. And then while I was there, I happened to notice that that Tom's is, the brand Tom's that I like, that I buy a lot of stuff at, is now there, or you know, has a line for there. And I picked up this little pouch, which I think is perfect for my purse, just to throw a couple things for MJ into it. It was really cute. Then I picked up a couple more flannel shirts a really light gray one that I think will look nice under sweaters and then like a blue green one um, that I thought would look cute. So picked those things up and got MJ a uh, like not high chair seat, like booster seat for in our house at uh, Toys R Us and oh I got him a new stool. And that's it, nothing too exciting today. Uh, good morning all, so uh, I did not go to the gym today. My knee is still bothering me a little bit from the Tabata class yesterday. Um, so I'm just up and dressed and ready to go to swim class and to the pool. I just have on a sweatshirt that's from Chatham, which is where our other house is. Uh, the sweatpants, these are those airy sweatpants with the like stitching on the side and the pockets. They're super comfy. I totally bought them way too big. Um, I would suggest to go down in a size in those if you buy them. Um, and oh, my flip flops. Oh, sorry, I have the sniffles. My flip-flops are reefs, and I know it's not flip-flop season, but I have had my first pair of reefs for about 15 years, and they were 20 bucks, and I thought I was crazy for spending that on a pair of flip-flops, and I wear them all the time. They're the most comfortable flip-flops I've ever owned, and they've lasted forever. I just bought my second pair ever this year. Um, but they're super, super comfy, and uh, I'll probably end up throwing Uggs on and throwing these in my bag because I think it's too cold out for them even to just run into the gym for a swim class. Um, but yeah, so uh, we haven't done much today, just hanging out, and uh, MJ, we took his uh, booster seat, and I'll show you that. On one of the chairs, so he is graduating from his high chair, which is right over there. We're getting rid of that. And now he just sits in a booster seat. These chairs are from Pottery Barn, so is the table, um, a couple years ago. Uh, and as you, somebody asked me, how do you keep the house so like neat? It's not, when he's here playing, he's sitting over here right now. Um, he's in his sweatpants too, and his t-shirt. And uh, there's toys out, and then when he, when he takes a nap, I tend to then um, like just put things away and then, um, when he gets back up, it kind of, my husband always says like, why do you put things away while he's napping? Like he's just gonna get up and pull stuff back out. Honestly, the reason I do that is because when I put them away, A, I feel better when I sit down, but, and I don't trip on anything, but B, because then when he comes back downstairs, he plays with something totally different than what he had out earlier in the day, um, which is really, I think, a good idea because that way he just find something new um, and it's a little bit, it's better that way. Um, he's got a little treat right now because he just went to the potty again. He's been doing awesome with that. He had no accidents for the last couple of days, which is really, really good. Um, and hasn't been going while he's napping. He does at night in the, I put him in a diaper at nighttime, but you gonna put it in the trash? Go ahead, put it in the trash can. Hi. Say hi. hi. Put it in the trash can. Okay. Okay. You do it. Oh, good job. Thank you. It's okay. That's all right. No. You put it in the right side. That's okay. Thanks. Say bye-bye. 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 Okay. Let it close. Battery's dying on my phone. On my camera, I mean. <laughs> Let it close because the battery's dying. Okay. We're not going to keep watching him do that. Anyway, uh, so today just kind of, oh, we have uh, gymna his gymnastics class later this afternoon, so we'll see. Um, I just have on that weird It Cosmetics waterproof, like, ultra liner, whatever thing. Um, I put that on when I'm going to the pool and I feel like my lashes are a mess. Um, and I've been using that Benefit lip stain thing again, um, just for a little bit of color on my lips. And uh, I just have on Shiseido Sun Protection, that's it. Um, just because we're gonna run a couple errands beforehand. I think it's about 9.50 now. We usually go to the pool around 11. Um, and that's it. So, I so for dinner, I am making meatloaf. And it's kind of something that I learned from a friend of mine years ago when I say years ago I mean like probably 15 years ago we used to a bunch of friends of mine we used to do a Monday night dinner group where 
we went to each other's house and one person cooked dinner for everybody else and each week it changed who the person was. Um, it used to be a lot of fun. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what I use and I don't use any measurements, I kinda just wing it. That's the hard part. So let me get started and show you. First thing I get from the grocery store is this meatloaf and meatball mix because it is ground beef, beef pork, and veal. Um, and I get one pound of that. I have one onion. I'll probably use half of that onion and I use just a grater over the bowl. I'm putting everything in here. I have some breadcrumbs. These are panko breadcrumbs, just the box broke. Um, that I kind of just use like a really, really big handful. One package of ranch mix and one package of meatloaf mix and then some sharp cheddar cheese. Um, this is just a bag I have in my freezer. I just kind of wing it. I know what it looks like and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done as to how much I put of all this in here. So this is the ranch mix, the panko breadcrumbs, the cheddar cheese, the meat and the meatloaf mix. And now I'm going to put this on top and I'll cut up the onion and I'm going to grate the onion into there and I'll so right there is the grated onion and I'm gonna mix it all together now. I mixed it up, I totally realized that I forgot that I also add one egg in here. And I know this sounds weird, but trust me, it's really good. This is what it looks like now, all put together in a pan. Um, I probably used, I don't know, maybe a cup of cheese if I had to guess. Um, I have mild cheddar right now, but I prefer sharp cheddar. Um, but as you can see, I put it in a loaf pan where it's not surrounding the edges simply because we like the crispier part a little bit more. You can also put some cheese on top before you bake it. I don't like it that way, but some people do. Um, and this is just an old Pampered Chef stoneware, but you can use just a regular baking pan. Um, so it's kind of funny because everybody that hears about this thinks it's so weird and like, it's kind of like, uh, but everybody that tries it loves it. Um, it is very, very seasoned because of those two seasoning packages. If you're not somebody that likes something like highly seasoned, I would cut down and do like a half a package of each or something like that. Um, but it really tastes awesome. So if you're interested, um, I'll try and put... I, I'll put the recipe on my Facebook page um, because that seems to be the easiest place to write out things like this or take a picture of it or things like that. So I will put that there. So um, the link to my Facebook page is below as well, below usually all the description links. Um, so give it a try and see if you like it if you're not a meatloaf fan because I am not a meatloaf fan and it's pretty good. Sounds good, huh? Afternoon. It is uh, 1.30 on Thursday afternoon and I am heading out. I have a massage appointment and then a nail appointment. So I'm going to do those two things and then I'm running by Target. Those lamps that I got didn't work out. So <clears throat> I'm going to go uh, return those as well. Um, but not anything too exciting. Oh, I know what it was. I know what some things are. Last night for some reason, MJ ate so much dinner. He ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because dinner wasn't ready. Um, after his gymnastics class, dinner wasn't ready to eat with us. So we were getting ready to put him to bed and he was like hungry, hungry. And he'd eaten a pan peanut butter and jelly sandwich and didn't want anything else then. And so he kept saying, dinner with you. It was so cute. So we went downstairs and he sat down in his PJs and he ate dinner with us. And we had meatloaf. He ate an entire piece of meatloaf and he ate a whole lot of tater tots. We just had meatloaf and tater tots. It was quick and easy. Um, and so sometimes we do a vegetable, sometimes we do that. But um, it was like so crazy how much he ate. And I think he ate too much because around 11.30 he woke up and started really, really crying. Like unusually so. He doesn't usually even make a noise throughout the night. So I went up. Um, after I waited about 10, 15 minutes because if that goes that long, that's unusual for him. So I waited 10 or 15 minutes and I went upstairs and I thought maybe he had gone to the bathroom like because that's the only thing is he's tending to get upset now if he does have a diaper on and he goes to the bathroom. So went upstairs, checked that. He was fine. I sat there with him for maybe 10 minutes at the most and I said, you ready to go back to bed? And he said, yes, go to bed. So I put him back in bed. Why? The stupid camera still shakes. This drives me crazy. 
trying to need to figure that out. So um, went back, went to bed, and then around 12:45 he woke up. Same thing. I waited until one o'clock, and he was ugh, he was just super, super, super upset, and I couldn't get him to calm down. And then he was like poopy. He went in and sat on the toilet for 45 minutes and drank juice and everything. I think he just ate too much and his stomach was like feeling it and he thought he had to go to the bathroom, but he didn't. Um, so we sat there for a while and then I went and laid with him in his in the big boy bed just to see if it could calm him down a little bit. He wasn't upset then actually, but if it could just get him relaxed, I guess. And uh, so then I said to him, okay, it's time to go into your bed. And he said, okay. And went in, took him into his bed and uh, he went right back to sleep and slept for the rest of the night. But my knee was still bothering me, so I decided not to go to the gym today because of that. Plus the fact that, quite honestly, I was exhausted from being up and down so much last night. So it worked out that it was a good day for a massage because I can just relax for that hour. Um, so I have that and going to run those errands. And tonight we are having tacos, just the same, pretty much the same one, but I'm trying this sauce by Goya. Um, thank you, I'm sorry I forget your name because I'm in the car, of uh, someone here on YouTube suggested to me that I get the Goya Sofrita, I think it's called, sauce. I'll try and show it to you tonight and use that instead of salsa and apparently it's really good. So we'll give that a try and let you know. Um, we do tacos a lot, we're big taco people because it's not that bad for you. Um, so we're gonna do that for dinner tonight and uh, that's about it. I didn't do much with my hair today because I knew I was going for a massage and I'm just gonna have to tie it up and all that, so why bother? And um, tomorrow we have friends and family coming into town. One friend that Marty has to pick up at the airport early in the morning and take him to Virginia because he bought a new car. One of those Mercedes G-Wagons. I'm interested to drive it when he gets it here and see if I like it or not because we're looking for a new SUV for me. But they're really, really bad on gas mileage. They only get like seven, on city streets, seven miles per gallon and on highway like 12 to like 15, I think it was. So that would be bad about it. But so anyway, I'm gonna drive his when he brings it here and he's staying for the weekend. And then Marty's brother is coming in for the weekend. He's flying in at 2.30 and he's going to hang out for the weekend with us. And then they're bo they both live in the same area and they hang out together. We're all really good friends. And then uh, they're gonna both drive home on Sunday together so that his brother only flies in and then he drives back with him on Sunday. It's about six hours for them to get home, depending. Anything from four and a half to six hours. Six hours, I always give the bad side, just in case. And um, so that is, oh, this weekend we're going back to that Biblioteca with his brother and our friend. And then uh, another couple that lives two doors down from us is gonna come with us too and go out. So um, we should have a fun weekend. Um, just see what's going on. Oh, and Marty's gonna go pick up the new TV this weekend since his brother and um, our friend Baskin are here. Both of them, we call our friend Aaron by his last name. Um, and so that's pretty much everything. So uh, I'm gonna head into my massage. I'm about two minutes away and I have about five minutes to get to my appointment. So I'm gonna run out and I'll show you guys um, a little bit of the room that it's really nice. It's the same place that MJ gets his haircut, Marty gets his haircut, I get my haircut, I get my facials, I get my eyebrows. I get my massages, I get every, like, everything there pretty much except for my nails. Um, so I'll try and show you a little of that if I can. I just say that was the best massage slash thing I've done in a long while. Uh, I went in and I normally go for a massage but the girl, like a regular Swedish massage or a hot stone. Um, I've done a couple other different types but those are the two that I typically go for. And so the girl I go to for like my spray tan, my facials and all of that, last time, oh, last time while, oh, a mask was sitting on I think and she did this like herbal retexturizer on my arms where that KP, the keratin polaris is on my arms and she told me about She's like, oh, next time you come in, like we can do this all over our body mini massage that's the um, herbal body resurf retexturizer, that's what it is. Um, I'll put the link below to their website. Uh, it's called Jordan Thomas Lawn, but, um, and the, what the retexturizer is. Essentially, it's by that Bio Elements, and it's this dry herbs that they rub on you. Rub on you. And they essentially give you a massage first, then they go back and give you, put, the herbs all over in the same
same spots where the oils were that they massaged you. Then they wrap you up in this like little mini cocoon thing that's like all nice and warm. It's like the best thing for winter time, like all nice and warm and like, like a cocoon. While I'm wrapped up doing that, she gave me a mini facial, like everything except for extractions and like steam. It was like a mat, you know, like taking everything off and then a mask and then like this kind of retexturizing thing on your face as well and then wipe all that off and then they go back over with the oil again after they unwrap you and um, they massage all of, make sure all of the herbs because they the herbs dissolve into your skin um, or dissolve and it goes in and then like they wipe all, or they massage all of that in and make sure everything's gone and then they go back with like these warm cloths and a dry sloughing cloth and take up all the dead skin cells and it is the most relaxing warm comfortable and the girl I do go to it Jordan Thomas is amazing if you are in this area and you want anything done her name is Stephanie and she is phenomenal she is the sweetest thing and is just amazing and like she really personalizes stuff to you to what you're looking for more than just like oh yeah you're coming in for a facial here it's like she'll say you're coming in for a facial and like let's talk about what you want and let's work on that like she is phenomenal and she uses well for me she uses this um this lemongrass oil that is just oh it smells so good i'm gonna go buy, we were talking about it i said i'm just gonna go buy a bottle of it and wear it as a perfume like it smells amazing it's like the epitome of a spa like it just smells so 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 amazing and good and awesome and uh that was just like probably the most relaxing thing ever. Like it's even more relaxing than a massage, honestly. It was phenomenal. What is in that truck? It, whoa. it was just absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. Love it. I will go back a hundred times over. Um, so now I'm heading over to get my nails done, uh, taking this off and I am going with uh, the Sally Hansen Imprompt Blue, which is like my go-to fall winter color. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then I have to go to Target, and then I'm on my way back home, so. This is the sauce that someone had mentioned to me to mix in. It's green peppers, onion, cilantro, garlic, and olive oil for rice, beans, soups, chili, and stews. Sofrita by Goya. I am starting by putting that much in, and we'll see what, how much I end up needing. Adding a little bit more. Um, I had already added the taco seasoning and let that set, and now I'm mixing in the sofrito felt like I need just a little bit extra. It looks a little bit dry without it. It looks like now, and I'm getting ready to put the shells in and cook them. I just baked them at 350 for a couple minutes, um, and then we'll put them together. Good morning, kind of, sort of. It's 11 o'clock. Um, just been getting some editing done, actually, on my vlog, uh, and I noticed that I continually, I take the camera with me, and it's out, in the, and I leave it out in the car sometimes, and then I bring it back in to tape something that I think of, and uh, it gets all gross and like, you know, foggy from coming inside to the warm air. But um, so that screwed up a couple of times. But I wanted to tell you guys um, that the tacos last night were awesome with that sofrito sauce. Like they were probably the best ones I've ever had. Like they are just so good. So just basically follow the package instructions on um, how to make uh, tacos. And <laughs> instead of um, using water, use the sofrito sauce and it's awesome they are just really really great um i did forget to show you as well that uh, so that extra last sephora order came in um i bought some more of those glam what is that called glam glow i got that one that had the blue one in it and two small ones of the white and the black and this stuff is amazing can i just tell you for clearing up any spots you put it on before you go to bed it's black but and it, mj's watching up something over there and um it just by the time you wake up it is gone and i mean completely gone and then this one is probably one of the best masks i have ever used i like the blue one it's nice but this one just makes your skin feel oh you can't even find words for it it's just so 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 awesome it makes your skin feel 
just so like tight, but in a good way, not like dried out tight, just like refreshed and amazing. Um, it's just awesome. So it's 11 o'clock. We are getting ready to go out to uh, meet some friends up for lunch over at Chick-fil-A. They have a big, I'll try and tape some of it, big kids area where the kids can go and play. And there's like slides and all kinds of stuff, kind of like um, <laughs> the McDonald's things, I guess. Um, but it's Chick-fil-A. And uh, so we're heading over there to meet a friend. My friend Stacy and her little girl Gabriella at 11:30. Um, so we're gonna head over there, and then the rest of the day, I don't know what I'll be able to show you or what's going on. Uh, we'll just see. Marty did go and finally pick up the TV this morning. He ended up going with the 65-inch route here. Um, so there, and it's one of those smart ones, which is nice because we have Apple TV right now hooked up to this TV. So the smart TV, because uh, we watch a lot of stuff on Netflix, will be nice and easy uh, to use, hopefully. So then he and his brother and our friend Baskin are gonna have to hang up the new TV and see if we need a new like holding thing and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see, I'll show you guys that this weekend, I guess. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for the week, but I'll show you some more bits and pieces where I can.